back to another episode of Rivera Family Five. So glad that you can join us again today. Today we got something special. RIP, first of all, to the great Virgil who brought us the off-white branding. And with that being said, we're gonna feature a love it or hate it silhouette. It's gonna be the Jordan 2 off-white, baby. If you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe. You don't wanna miss out, baby. So make sure that you stick around for the review. Let's go. All right, now let's go to the unboxing. All right, kids, you know the old routine. Knives are sharp, knives are dangerous. Don't stab nobody. Don't stab yourself opening up boxes. So, do not try this at home. So, the box didn't come in decent shape. Oh, it looks like it's a little ripped up there, but what's important is what's on. Ooh, wow, the box came a little jacked up. But what's important is that it got here, right? And what's important as, as well as if what's on the inside is in good condition. So the box is very unique. Very, very different. Very different. So the bottom is actually translucent. And all the way around the sides, you got the little Jordan wings. You got the Jordan wings on this side. You can actually see the sneaker through these little peep holes. Little peeping tom holes. Box is a little lopsided, but hey, I don't know why. It is what it is. It's a little translucent. Now let's go to the unveiling. So, ooh, this one we have to do a little different. Calm us down, baby doll. Three, two, one. Ooh. They come pre-packaged in their own little uh, baggie. So wow, this is what you what you get. They come in a little baggie here. Here, my hun, grab that one. I grab this one. It came in a little baggie. It came in a little socket tag. Yeah. And a sticker right here. For all you who are interested in that type of stuff. It's like a little Ziploc bag. Ooh. Yeah. Got a little bag. This The box is very unique. It comes with a little off-white paper. Which, it wasn't around the sneaker, but hey, that's okay. It is what it is. You got some off-white paper there. And at the bottom. So, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's unveil this bad boy. Ooh, wee. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Quality seems nice on me. Very unique sneaker. RIP Virgil. RIP, RIP. We lost a good one, we lost a good one. Uh, prayers out to his family for sure. And uh, with that being said, let's check out this sneaker. So this is a white cell Jordan 2. Very underappreciated sneaker. Some people hate it. It's a, you either love it or hate it type silhouette. Uh, Jordan 2. So we got the Fox Crumble midsole here with the translucent uh, gel filling in the gaps. You got the white leather upper with the red piping. You got, the, you got a little bit of red on the inside and on the back tab. You got the yellowed eyelets right here you got MJ signature on the side right here MJ signature on the side and you know it's artificially yellowed and decayed all the way around this is a very unique sneaker um, I like it and of course you got the off-white branding on the other side it looks very unique it looks pretty cool uh, I'm, I'm gonna admit that I'm not a really big Jordan 2 fan but these actually look pretty nice. They got, like I said, they got the artificially decayed uh, look, uh, which I think it looks okay. I, at first, at first glance, I uh, didn't like it, but you got some uh, different shoe. You got some choices of shoelace color here. You got that red, you got that cream, that buttercream it looks like, and the black on the lace already. What do you think, love? What are your first impressions? 
My first impression is I'm not a fan of it. <laughs> there you go. Different strokes for different folks. It's just different. Like how he said it has that decayed look. Yeah, I don't, I'm not really feeling the decayed part. Ooh. I don't really like it. I like it. Uh, but hey, to each their own. Different people got different tastes. And my husband already knows. I don't like. She don't like that, uh, the that brand. Rating. But I do. So you got the, you know, you got the off-white tag here. Which oh, a lot of people leave on. Yeah, why do people leave them? Um, do they think it looks they cool? They try to, they, yeah, I guess it does look cool sometimes. Uh, I'm not sure about on this one. But you know, some people just like to try to fit in the static quote. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, it looks all right. Um, I think it looks cool. They even got a little bit natural aging or they got the uh, fox aging on the writing too and on the signature on the side mm -hmm. too, I noticed that. So that's pretty cool. They kept that artificially yellowed and decay look all the way around. Mm -hmm. So what do you think, babe? Do you think I can pull these off or not? They match my sweater yet, yeah, Molly. Um, no, I don't think so. <laughs> Because you like the high tops more. I do like high tops, low tops. I think we'll look good with the right pants. And later on, we'll see if I can pull it off on the on foot review, baby. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get some B roll footage. Let's get up and close and personal with the sneaker. And let's go ahead and put it on that spinning wheel of justice after, baby. And then stick around because we got that on foot review as well. So let's get on with the show. And of course, you know how we do. We like to open them up like it's the first time. Go ahead and unbox them for us, baby doll. Ooh. You got that naturally. Well, it's not natural. You got the artificial age and crack look. And from what uh, I heard, Jordan 2's crack like this naturally. But this is that artificial yellowing and aging. So let's go ahead and take one out the box. Take that one out the box for us. You can see we got the art, the got the tag right here, got the wings on the side. So th this is what you get. What you see is what you get. You got that midsole right here that I'm talking about, that translucent gel in the middle, filling the gaps. You got that Jordan insignia right there, the wings, the old school Jordan logo. You got the sig right here on the side, the signature. You got that off white branding right here that my wife loves so much. No. Anyway, you got that tag that my wife was talking about why they keep it on there. Some people just try to fit in the status quo and it does look cool sometimes, I ain't gonna lie. I've worn it on my Jordan 1's off-whites. You even got that artificial uh, aging on the bottom, the cracked uh, sole on the bottom. You got that gray in the red. You got that aged yellow on the eyelets as well. Go ahead and take that other one out there. And you know, of course, you got the shoelaces right here. It says shoelace, in case you forget what, what they are. Here we go, baby. You got the signature over here again. You got that branding that my wife likes so much. You got the red back tab. And of course, you got the foam showing here, which is very typical of the off-white. You got the red. And the uh, cream laces. What's going on? It's like a different red, though. What's that? Is that... Um, Oh, I know what that is. Is that Virgil's face? Looks like it. So, RIP. There you go. What you see is what you get, baby. Let's take a closer look at that midsole. That cracked midsole. Look at the quality. Looks good. But anyway, what time is it, baby doll? Now it is time for the spinner.
Now time to take these bad boys off. So these were the Jordan 2 Off-White. Make sure that you check out our sponsor. Their information is gonna be in the description down below. I completely love these shoes. I think they're great. I think they would look good with some blue jeans and a nice little sweater to match. But that's my opinion. My wife thinks different. What do you think, babe? I just don't like it. Um, like I said earlier, the whole decay part is just throwing me off. <laughs> Well, anyway, different strokes for different folks. That's what makes me and her a good team. She, we got different tastes, but at the end of the day, we make it work, baby. So make sure that you like this video. Make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already. Hopefully you already have. But tell a friend, tell a family member that we're not only bringing you quality uh, shoe reviews, but we hope that we're entertaining as well. So make sure that you like and subscribe and tell them where they can find us, baby doll. You can also find us on our Instagram at Rivera Family of Five. So make sure to follow. And with that being said, until next time, we love you all. Stay safe out there. Peace.